So that's why we give truth. Because the more people that knows, it shares the load of actually spraying that light into the thick darkness. I can be down with the cake. Okay. This is the part that I forgot to even explain that to everyone. The guy got us deep into the cave, and then he, and this is another thing that he did, he had everyone turn off their, their lights on their helmets, and then he had one more light that was a flashlight, and then he turned it on. This darkness is something different. Even if you went... It's because it's in the earth. Up right, about two feet down, you're probably still at 80% of the darkness that occurs when you're like 50,000 feet down, right? Mm -hmm. This is what I'm trying to explain. That light is still piercing through this, oh, yeah. what we call solid. Mm -hmm. But there, because this has been 40, I think it's like 40 million years of cave where light cannot penetrate. You see crystals growing, if you understand that metaphor. And that's a deep metaphor. Wondering how the mineral is the light rather than through the glass. So, Notice how, I notice how when the lights turned off, the darkness went like this. When you open your eyes, it went in. Mm -hmm. It was intrusive. You see what I mean? The darkness is so thick, it, it goes into all light. You see what I mean? So you're a light inside. So when you open up your eyes, it goes into the the light in your eyes and try, attempts to find the light inside of you so that it can shop. You see what I mean? Because this darkness constantly wants to sniff out the light. It has a natural instinct to it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're up against. We're up against something that wants you to be ignorant. It is its nature to want you to be ignorant because ignorance is darkness. Darkness is order. You see what I mean? It's where there's no questioning what you should be doing or not doing. Where did you get that thought from? Kill him. You see what it mean? Like, what? You're not in line. Kill him. <laughs> it's like, you didn't do what we told you to do. Kill him. This whole kind of thing, right? Until eventually everyone's in order. Nobody's disobeying. That hasn't happened yet. <laughs> There's still some light shining where we're like, we're not conforming with. They can't get rid of us. They can only cut us in half again. But if we grew upward, meaning that if when, the, we, when they cut us in half, when we died, when we deuced, and then we did our God thing and split <laughs> from all the kids. In the new, if we were, go, if we went back into the, the new kid, we would reformulate ourselves. And that would actually replenish our species. So if people wanted to just see where we were, okay, I don't know, all this stuff you're talking about is why we <laughs> can't load it. Just tell me a practical level where I start. The kids. The kids. Because if we can come back into vessels that are prepared, it wouldn't be long in our own Ouroboric action that we would completely sustain wholeness again. Mm -hmm. And so, and it's something that's already happened. This is why the world could be emancipated at any point because if you could take the mind of the children and rehabilitate it, it would actually cause the, the form of emancipation to move rapidly. It's a viable, uh, a viable uh, uh, um, directive because all the other directives do take a long time. There's pros and cons, there's odds. I've seen them all. There's so many times I've where it doesn't work, but the one with the kids has the highest probability. If you ask anyone that really knew what was going on, because it has the power to, because they still are fresh. They haven't, you know, vaccinate them. They still have their apex. They're gods. That's why the babies, like I said, they all when they draw the gods in the, the Catholic system. They draw them as babies, but they kill gods. That's the thing. Like they hunt them down and put them under their servitude. And we're really in intense spirits of supreme beings and sometimes called demons. So do I need to do something differently than what I've been doing? No. <laughs> well, 
adjust yourself accordingly based on the latest updated knowledge. This is a safe update. Okay. But okay. In, in every sense, just... For a minute me. there, I was just kind of like... It, it like gave me this impression that I've been doing everything wrong and now I need to change. That's a great impression. I love that. Okay. That, it, that dearly causes a direct jolt within the current of the body. Because okay. it literally shifts into the other piston and then comes back. Right, but, but I don't know what that is, though. Right, it downloads over time, but it's okay. to be a total like it's almost like checking uh, all your points because okay. you'll go over all the points again and then with factoring this new level of information and then see how it connects it with all that other stuff. Because every day for us, we have to keep expanding mm -hmm. anyway, yeah. So there will always be something, and it's uh, what do they call that? Uh, not a telescoping, but uh, exponential, <laughs> it's where. It's going to keep growing in this quantum effect, more so than it's just a small piece of what is occurring. 